there's only one reason why this car's going up on the ramp, and that's right, it's about to get bagged. Palm at Car Audio, and welcome back to the channel. Now, it's the second week in March, and I've just remembered that it's UD this weekend. Oh, that's Ultimate Dubs up in Telford. It's the first show of the season, and guess what? The star car hasn't even been started yet. As far as I'm aware, nobody makes an air suspension kit for an X-Drive G80 M3. So we're going to be developing a kit, not a full development, because I think we can use the G20 kit that Airlift do for this car. Now, I have already had a look at the front hubs and they are different to the regular rear wheel drive M3. So there is going to be a bit of fabrication involved and stuff like that. So I've got Jonathan on standby at Intermotive in case we need any machine work done. And there's a few other bits in the pipeline as well, but uh, let's get it done. Front one runs a 275 as standard. The rear runs a 285 as standard. So, and obviously, don't forget um, 19s on the front, 20s on the rear. I don't really like that the split size look. So, I'm going to be going the same size all around with this. Right, we're going to make a mongrel kit, so we're using parts of different cars, BMWs, and we're going to make and bag Palm's car and get it on the floor. Okay. Because we have got like three days to bag his car, and we have no time whatsoever. So we're going to do whatever it takes, sellotape, super glue, all of that, and the above. running out of time is what's happening. <laughs> so anyway, right. The airlift kit that's available for the F80 M3 fits the rear of a G80 X drive, but there is a slight difference. This is the rear bag assembly that goes on the F80 M3, right? Now, this would normally locate at the top on an F80, but on the G80, there's a hole in the subframe uh, pretty much the same as um, the BMW Z4. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use just the top locating bracket from here, and we're gonna put it on this bag, and then happy days. So that's the rear sorted out. The F80 rear shocks are exactly the same as the G80 rear shocks. So it's basically an F80 rear kit, just with the top, just with the top locator change. So that's the rear all worked out. Let me show you what's happening with the front. Top mounts are absolutely correct. We will now have camber adjustment, whereas the standard ones don't come with camber adjustment. So we'll have camber adjustment, rebound adjustment, and height adjustment on the shock as well. Now the only difference between the X drive strut and the non-X drive strut is that 
it's stepped down where it slots into the hub. So all we need to do is either have new bottom cups made or what I'm thinking is better still sleeve this part here, put a seam weld around there so it's nice and secure and uh, that's going to be problem solved. So yeah, so at the minute I'm just uh, trying to locate some tube that we can pick up today because time is of the essence. Basically, if I can't get this tube today, it's not going to happen. I need to go. So let me just quickly also run round. Um, so all the airlines have already been run. The wires for the height sensors have already been run. So basically, we just need to get the struts and the bags on. So uh, it's a sleeve that we need to extend the uh, front struts by. So like I was explaining before, we needed to get rid of this step down. That's going to uh, slide in there, up to there. We're going to weld it all up, cut this down to size wherever we need it. Time has been of the essence on this build. The rears are already mounted, that's all sorted. On the front of the car, we're gonna be using struts from a G20 because the G80 X-Drive kit has not been developed yet. So in, in essence, we've just done that. There's been a couple of modifications that we've need to do, just minor little tweaks to get them to fit the X-Drive. So Jay's gonna explain in more detail what he's had to do to make these perfect fit. All right, guys. So like minor little tweaks that we've done. The first mod that we've done is put longer studs in because the chassis of the vehicle, um, there's another plate on the top. So the standard studs aren't long enough. So we just tapped new studs in. The other modification that we've done at the bottom, you probably can't see it in depth, but these actually tapered down and they weren't long enough. So what we had to do is make them to the correct diameter of the OE strut here and essentially make it long enough so it fits in the hub correctly, obviously keeping the shock length to where we need it. So what we've done is sleeve the bottom of the shock, welded it round, painted them up. So now these will fit perfectly within the M3 hubs and uh, hopefully um, it should all bolt together. are now two days away from UD and the G80 M3 is still on the ramp but just to let you know it is going pretty well. So I've had a delivery land today from Eventuri. That's correct. I'm going to be going full carbon intakes by Eventuri. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Imran for getting these out super fast because time has been of the essence and um, this is just another piece of the puzzle that's going to make the car complete.
We're fast approaching midnight and in a few hours we got a set off for UD and all the cars are ready. The G80 is now bagged, the rotiform wheels are on and we've just about made it in time. I added 12 mil spacers on the rear just to get that real tight fitment on the back. Believe it or not, there's a 25 mil spacer on the front and I'm running 20 by 10s. Rotiform KPS on the front, 20 by 11 KPS on the rear. Now these look real cool and I took the car for a blast earlier on. They sound absolutely monstrous. Check this out. So we've got full Eventuri carbon intakes and we've also added the Eventuri carbon engine cover as well. You can never have too much carbon, right? Oh, and in the boot, nothing much to see. I will be doing a full-on hardline show install, but for now, it's a hidden hardware install. <laughs> Ironically, I haven't really done much on this. It's all been down to Jay. I'm not gonna take any credit. No, I'll take a little bit of credit, but um, Jay and Steve smashed it. So right now, me and Jay are gonna go home, get a few hours kip, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna hit the road again and um, see most of you in Telford. But for those who are not gonna be in Telford, I hope you enjoyed this video. And more importantly, I hope you like the car.